Hello, and welcome to another episode of Breaking the Seal. Keeping with the April tradition of Easter's, we're going to have a little bit more of that regular cavity-creating goodness. Um, so I, I actually caught something in the yard today, and I figured I should show you all, because it, I've never seen anything quite like it. It's a bit larger than you would normally expect, but um, this is a little hint of what oh, we're getting at. Um, I found this bunny, and uh, oh, well, it was a bunny. There you go. Uh, I figured I'd show that off because that actually stayed on a lot longer than I expected to. So I'll just take that for the time being. Anyways, we got rabbit bunnies. They're not rabbits. They're bunnies. Reese's Puffs cereal. Now I'm, I'm a big fan of Reese's Puffs all the way through. And these things, I, I've had them before in a previous year. This is this is going to be, I guess, the new generation. I don't expect anything different from what I've had before, to be totally honest with you. So, naturally, you got your chocolate and you got your peanut butter. Um, honestly, you, I, I, have, I have an issue with the design on this box. Because you look at this and it's not immediately Reese's Puffs. I don't see Reese's Puffs. I would actually probably pass by this in the aisle. So... I don't know. I, I'd, I'd have to give that one a thumbs down, honestly. I understand they're going for the bunny theme, but it's just not doing it for me. On the back of it, however, we've got a big party going on. This thing is hopping and bumping. Reese's Puffs brings all the hippest hoppers to the club with DJ Dash spinning velvety smooth peanut butter grooves and MC EZB raining down chocolatey fire all the bunnies are showing off their sweetest moves. So I have a feeling that the back of this is supposed to be some kind of keep your child busy while you ask them to find out how many bunnies are on the back of this box. I ain't doing it. That is that is beyond my scope of patience. I can't do it. it, it is, it's, it's impossible. So anyways, let's go ahead and pop this thing open. That did open very cleanly. They definitely got their glue on there right. I'm very proud of the Reese's Puffs. For whatever reason, that just felt a bit easier to open than typical. It, it felt like it was a bit more natural. So they definitely got something down pat there. I'm gonna have to go ahead and pour that out. Now, do we actually have bunnies here? This is important. Uh. That's not, I guess. All right, all right. That one's more of a bunny, I guess. Uh, I should be holding these up closer. How does that look? Uh, yeah, all right. So this is like more dog. I don't know what this one is. Let's see if we can get one. Um, your quality control Reese's Puffs is, uh, is questionable, but you know, I guess it is a slightly difficult shape. I don't know. I gotta say, uh, Lucky Charms has you beat one again. Once again, because Lucky Charms, I keep going on about this. It's definitely in my top three. Reese's Puffs is my top, then it's Cinnamon Toast Crunch, and then it's Lucky Charms. And Lucky Charms, if they can get their goofy shapes and wild marshmallows down pat, then you can too. And quite honestly, I should figure out if Lucky Charms is also General Mills. Because if so, they are doing Reese's Puffs dirty. How dare they? Let's go ahead and add some milk. Uh, today we've got low fat, 1% milk fat vitamins A and D milk from Giant. This expires April 14th. We're still good. So let's go ahead and pour a little bit in there. Give that a little taste test. Yeah, that, that looks like about a typical spoonful of Reese's Puffs. Despite being a different shape, I think that is an appropriate amount of Reese's Puffs, Reese's Bunnies, per spoonful. Hmm. I will say, I feel like it tastes a little bit sweeter than typical. Um, the flavor is... Nice and strong, definitely chocolate, definitely peanut butter. I think this is probably some of the most actual Reese's Cup tasting Reese's Puffs that I've had in quite a while. Which, I mean, quite frankly, should be what you're going for. 
I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of a purist. I really got to have my regular standard Reese's Puffs. But I tell you what, they definitely didn't go wrong here. That is definitely what you're looking for when you're going for Reese's Puffs. Uh, the mouthfeel, it's oddly smooth. If you're used to eating your Cap'n Crunch All Berries or your Reese's Puffs, any round cereal Cocoa Puffs as well, um, they're a little bit on the abrasive side, that like two grit sandpaper kind of feel. So these are just, they're smooth, which is honestly kind of strange. Like, like vodka smooth. It, it, it's just, it, it goes down no problem. It's very bizarre. It just feels kind of odd on the tongue to have something polished. I put it akin to like having a mouthful of marbles that don't break your teeth. I don't know. That's pretty good. I gotta say, I'd recommend Reese's Puffs Bunnies if you're trying to stay in that Easter spirit. Let's um, let's go ahead and take a uh, some peanut butter flavored ones. And we're going to see if the peanut butter flavored ones are bunny approved. Yes. I think they are very much, in fact, bunny approved. Also messy. Anyways, that's it for this video. I'll see you all in the next one.